Falcon Boss. Oh, I gotta share my screen too. Okay, so like, I think the main thing that I need help with is like, understanding neutral. Wait, this is not the right game. Hold on. Oh, you can send me another one, yeah. I'm usually like, we can get through like two or three games, so yeah, just send me however many you have that you might want to watch. Okay. I'll just watch this while you're sending me the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah the thing, thing helps is like understanding, understanding neutral, neutral mainly, because like, like I can like, like I get that I can like grind punish game, but I wanna have, have find a good way to like understand, understand neutral more and, and also like work on it. it. Especially like, like first boss. boss. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I thought I sent you the right one. Uh, sometimes they get like kind of weird with the timestamps. Oh, uh, I, I, I know what I did wrong. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just sent you the right one. Okay, cool. Let me download that one. Yes. Uh, I pop. Because Wapa or Wapa is still hanging. Okay, I'm doing my lesson now. Oh, I'm, I'm doing so my sorry. lesson now. No, yeah. Uh, battlefield. Okay, cool. So what about neutral exactly is kind of confusing you? Are you looking for like, just like quick tips? Or are you like trying to figure out like how to teach yourself how to play neutral? Or are you lost on specific situations? It is kind of like a, a uh, I, don't I don't really know how to like teach myself, myself how to play neutral. neutral. And like, like, I feel, I feel like, like I'm like built, built more on like tricks and stuff than, than like having like, like a, a better like, like full around like, like neutral game. game. I feel okay. like... I know, I know like, like a few like options, options that are good that neutral, neutral that I kind of just like spam, spam like uh like fade, fade back in there and like uh Lord, Lord Stomp, Stomp and shit, shit but like I don't, I don't like, like you, know. you know yeah 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 that's uh that's funny because actually a while ago Magi and I were talking about where you know the way she got good like she didn't understand neutral for a long time you know she knew like so for example she knew like sometimes you run at Fox and the up tilts. And then sometimes you like run a fox and he dashes back, but she didn't like understand like like why does your opponent choose what they choose? And like it was she was just like, Oh, I just know sometimes they do one, sometimes they do the other, and I don't know like how to figure out what they're gonna do. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Obviously it's different now. <laughs> also like I think I'm talking about like recognizing like situations, you know? Mm-hmm. Cause like, like I, I recognize, recognize like the fox, fox is approaching me, me but, but I don't, I don't like, like. I'm not. I'm, I'm not like, like. I don't recognize the options, options you can do out of that, that stuff, stuff. You know. Yeah. Well, a lot of neutral is just about like knowing about all the situations that can come up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god, his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's unlucky. I, I, I sent this game in particular because, like, like, this was right after, after like, the, like, the, like, the freaking, like, bad set, so I was like, okay, I need to get, like, I need to get, like, crazy, you know? Okay, wait, I need to get, you know? okay, okay, wait, need to get a good game for how to review, so I'll try to play, like, more consistent and, like, I want to play a tournament, you know? Sure. So do you think this is, like, a problem? You're, like, do you think, like, you not understand neutral is a problem with, like, oh, I don't understand neutral against Fox? Or do you think it's more of a, like, I don't understand neutral in general? I think it's like, I don't understand neutral in general, but I think that Fox is who I'm going to, like, encounter the most. I think that learning neutral, especially, like, versus Fox at least, is kind of a good starting point, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I was busy talking. I wasn't really paying attention to this game, so let me actually watch it this time. <laughs>
God, that's so unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> Should have refreshed, but. That was, was like, like I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I was doing, doing there. there. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> I was not on the neutral. I was like stand still and like spend too much time thinking, you know. Mm -hmm. Like what just happened? Or like that yeah, was that's kind of that's what happens whenever like you have to figure out on the fly answers to things, right? You end up being a little bit slow. Yeah. But I'm starting to get like a little bit of a general impression here. Also, just I do too much. This is like an easy fix that I'm like tried yet. Alright, cool. So, uh, let's start with some basic questions. Uh, what made you get hit the most often? I'm not uh, really sure. I think a lot of it's just like, like I like, like flub. Like, 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 I don't think like, I mess up like doing, doing something, something like, like I have put the wrong thing, thing or whatever. But also, just like, he just beats what I intend to beat him with, if that makes sense, you know? Okay. So, like, like, if I, if I, if I, if I to approach and I do like a retreating bear, bear you'll, you'll just, just like, like beat that, that instead. I don't know how to describe it really, but like. Okay, but like, specifically, what is it that you're getting hit by the most to open up neutral in this game? You uh -huh. know, not like as a general concept, like literally what move is hitting you? I'm not, I'm not sure. sure. Uh, uh, can, you can you watch a little bit back, back a little bit more? more? Yeah, so. Uh, you know, before we do that, just I want to talk about, you know, that's really important because I talk to a lot of people about this kind of stuff, right? Uh, neutral is like super interesting and complex. And a lot of people, well, most people, to be honest, usually have like, if you ask them to like describe the strategy of something, then they can give you like a pretty reasonable, like, a pretty reasonable, like, overview just generally speaking you know like they can say things like uh you know i need to undershoot attacks or overshoot attacks and you know blah 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 blah, so on and so forth but uh all of that is it's important but it's more important to know specifics in my opinion uh to to like no specifics whenever you're doing an analysis like this because uh like you know you're just like oh he's like being the options that i'm picking and it's just like okay so what move is he using to beat the options that you're picking that's going to be important right because in order to beat the option that he's picking you need to know what option it is and if you can watch a whole game without knowing what option he's picking then uh you know that's kind of dangerous so, yeah, just watch this back one more time, and then see if you can tell me what move he hits you with out of neutral most. It's like shine, right? That's like... Yeah, exactly. You're getting, yeah, okay. You get running shined a lot. Yeah, I know that. Game. So, great. Now we can talk about neutral. Uh... What beats Running Shine? <laughs> dash back? Uh, it can, right? So you can dash back, and if they try to Running Shine where you are, then you can get a Whip Punch, same as Attack. What if they overshoot the Running Shine, then? Shield? Mm -hmm. Or can they just, like, shield, like, shine grab? 
Yeah, doing shield is probably not great, right? Because then they can shine grab. Or, you know, shine is generally just pretty safe on shield. So then they can shine in, like, wave dash back. Or they can shine wave dash through you. And then, uh, or they could do shine instant aerial. So, you know, uh, I think that usually just gets you kind of shield pressure. What other options do you have? Hit him out of it. Yeah. Like. There you go. So that's the usual go-to against running shine. And takes advantage of the fact that uh, one of Shine's limitations is that uh, it's got short range. So you can just hit him, right? Uh, a lot of times you can grab him before. You can just hit him if he tries to running shine. Like, if he tries to running shine you, right? <laughs> and then he gets met by a stomp. Like, guess who's getting wrecked, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a big one. You're going to see another Ryan Shine attempt uh, pretty shortly, I believe. So yeah, that's a good one too. Like, you know, he just runs straight into that back air and dies. So you got Running Shine here and here again, because he gets on top of you. And there's one where, like, if he drives to Running Shine, and then you just run up and grab him first instead. So now we're getting some ideas on how to beat Running Shine. Now, here's another question. Uh, what are the things... So why, now that we know that moves beat Running Shine, uh, why doesn't, why does he keep hitting Running Shine? Hitting you with Running Shine? What do you mean? Like, like why, why is he choosing to do that? Or like, why, why is it working in game? Uh, why is it, yeah, why does it keep working in game? I'm just not hitting him, because I like, I'm expecting him to like attack and I whiff punish it. But then he just like, hits me. And I don't know if that makes sense, but like. Uh, I think it makes sense, yeah. A lot of times you're trying to whiff punish him, and then uh, he just shines you instead. What's another situation that's making the running shine work out for him? It just happened a couple times. There, did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. How does he get this shine on you? Hit me for my back air comes up. Because I saw like the back air starting up, I think. And I'm up uh, the air. It's like his faster move. This shine right here? Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh, can you go back over for a second? He crouched on it and then like they've in. Yeah, so whenever you do a weak move, also he can get running shine. And then as you noted, he also beat your back air out earlier. So yeah. you need to be doing uh, moves that are safe on crouch cancel. And also, uh, you know, if you're going to do the back air, it needs to be a little more uh, preemptive or like drifted in such a way that he can't run and shine you so easily. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So like whenever like drift back or like drift towards him. Uh, you would usually try to drift back. Because you want to, like, push him outside of the range of shine. Yeah. So this is, like, kind of... Honestly, this is, like, a lot of what neutral is about. It's not about, like... Uh, I mean, it is. But, like, the general principles matter. But if you only know general principles and you can't talk about the specifics of what options uh, your opponent has and what options beat those options then you might as well not know any neutral at all. Because, like, so, like, take, for example, like, you know, running shine is a very, very common option. So if you want to play neutral against Fox, then, uh, you know, if you want to say, like, oh, I, I'm comfortable with neutral against Fox, I know how to play neutral against him, then that means you should probably have a plan for running shine, right? Yes. So, uh, you know, you can just, like, I think the most stable option really is a lot of times just hit him uh, for trying to run, running shine. And that's why you see, like, you know, you watch a lot of Falcons space near in place or something, or they go for, like, stomps because stomps cast overshoots, and they also cast shine. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why, uh, you know, those options are strong. So does it make sense, then, that, uh, you know, you were talking about, oh, you know, 
Lord Stomp is an option that people pick in neutral. Does it make sense that uh, you would do a Stomp as a read on them using Shine? Yes. yes. Right. And does it also make sense that uh, it would if that if they chose an option other than Shine? So, so for example, like if they narrowed at you instead, then Lord Stomp would kind of suck because you would just get hit out of the air. Okay, cool. So now that we know what beats running Shine, now we need to think about you know just hitting him. Now we need to think about you know what are the options Fox has that beats your options that beat running Shine. He could just not, not running Shine up tilt. Could be like whip dash and turn around up tilt. He could whip like dash and just dare. Oh, dare. Okay, that's an interesting. Oh, I, I, said, I said nair. Oh, nair. Okay, yeah, I like nair a lot more there than dare. Uh, yeah, nair just hitting. So like a lot of times, fox can get on top of you, and then uh, before you get a chance to move out. But sometimes you can also do your nair in such a way that beats fox's nair, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're like you know doing the drift back stuff, then usually and. Usually, if you're drifting back and you like started your nair out early enough, and Fox is nairing towards you, then your nair will beat out his. Yes. Could he Could also, also like, like um, um, just like, like run, run up crouch cancel or run up shield? shield? Uh huh. Yeah, for sure. He can definitely go for those options, and that's why a lot of times it will depend. Uh, it will be up to you, like your drift control. Yeah. yeah. But then, and how do I like, like recognize, recognize that he's going to do these things, and how do I like, like beat, beat them? them instead of just like, so if I like losing a running shine, how do I like? Does that actually happen? happen? She's like paying attention to what's happening in neutral, you know? I recognize like he's approaching, and I'm like, okay, I can fade back back here, or I can stomp, you know? Uh huh. I'm like, what's like a better way to like adapt in these situations where he's going to be like switching up his techniques? Right. So that's something that you just need to notice. Like, I mean, by the time you react. He's probably already doing the shine. So let's uh, say back up to like right here, you know? By the yeah. time you react to this, he's already going for the shine. And you see how he actually just, he was going for the overshoot because he was reading the dash track. Mm -hmm. So what you need to notice is you're like, yeah, he's going for running shine a lot. So I'm going to do things that beat running shine. Yeah. yeah. So. So, I feel like you have, like, a, a thought here. I know, like, but I feel but like, what's like, what's like, what's like, he's, like, going away out of our shine, what do I do then? Like, like, I don't know I don't if that, that makes sense. sense but yeah, like, it does. So, you know, you're, like, beating him for running shine, and then he does, and he's like, all right, screw running shine, I'm going to do something else. Right? <laughs> Well, you have to know what that something else is. So you have to like recognize it whenever you get hit by it. And then uh and then you have to know what the answer to the thing that to the new thing he's doing is. And you have to be able to guess when he's going to do that instead of running shine. Okay. Then it's just like up to me to learn all these like individual micro situations and to just be able to like remember how to implement them. Yeah, uh, I mean, having a game plan for a matchup is nothing more than having a bunch of situations that you know the mix-ups well, that you know the mix-ups for, and uh, being able to execute on the, the options that you know you have. That's all a game plan is. Okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I feel like I'm just trying to find... I feel like I'm, I'm trying, trying to find hard to find, hard to find, like, hard to find like, general, like, general, like, general things, things to improve on, like... like Maybe, maybe micro, maybe, maybe like micro, micro tiny situations, situations do work, work and I just need to like, like grind, grind those, those out, out, you know? Yeah, um, there's definitely, like I said, there's definitely general principles and they matter, but like the specifics are always going to be super relevant. I mean, the general stuff is like, you know, retreating aerials usually beat advancing aerials. Uh, if they block, like grab beats block, attacking beats grab. And block beats attacking. Stuff like that, you know? 
the uh, center is good because it lets you dash back or whatever. All of that, all of that is definitely real, and it is definitely important. But uh, I think that whenever you put all the little situations together, then it helps you come away with a big picture. So usually the way learning mutual works is you have an, you have like a big picture idea, right? Yes. And you're like, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lot of attacks. I'm going to try to wall out Fox, right? And that's where you start. And then you play and then you're like, oh, you know, uh, this walling thing works pretty well, except whenever he like, runs up to me and then he wave dash down and I miss and then he grabs my whiff. Yeah. Something like that will happen. Uh and then you say, okay. So then you take that and you think about like what are my options to beat that? And you say, okay, well I could sometimes do my aerials like slightly forward. Or I could just like dash forward and grab him sometimes. Then uh that will beat his option. And then so then using that analysis of the small situation that you figured out was giving that was giving you problems from your big game plan, uh, you take what you learn from that and then you make like you improve your big picture from it. So you take the small element and then you use that to elaborate on your uh, big picture view of the game. And then you just constantly ba- bounce back and forth on that forever. Can you like I'm not, I'm not like, like getting. It. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. No, you're I'm not. Like... Like... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so let's take uh, an example. Uh, let's say. Okay, so knee is safe on shield, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we said earlier, generally speaking, that uh, shield will beat people who. Who try to hit you because you can block and then you can like I don't know you can like shield grab them or something right obviously this isn't always true but like this is like a general statement that can be pretty true if someone hits your shield then you can punish them you a lot of times you can punch them for hitting your shield yes so the big picture here is that uh, our initial big picture is that shield beats attacking and then uh, we noticed that, okay, when Falcon needs my shield, uh, I actually can't uh, immediately punish him for, for doing the knee. Uh, he is actionable first. Mm-hmm. So that means whenever Falcon knees me, knees my shield, I need to respect his shield pressure and not try to always act out immediately. So that's kind of like an analysis of a small of a small situation of a micro situation, right? Getting need on your shield. Yeah. So then you would amend your big picture to say instead of now your big picture might say something like instead of uh, if someone attacks my shield, I'm at an advantage. Now you can think of it more along the lines of when someone attacks my shield, then I have an advantage. Unless if they did a knee, you know, and then that's also not exactly right, but it's a place to start. And then later on, you know, Fox will do a low nair on your shield and you'll try to punish it. And then uh, he'll beat you for trying to punish it. And then you say, okay, so there's a bunch of aerials that are safe on shields. Uh, so shield beats attacks that are like poorly timed or something, you know? And then if they execute their attack well, then uh, it will beat my shield. So then your big picture evolves as you learn more of the small, as you learn more of the small pictures. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so learning neutral is just that process of having a big picture and then figuring out uh, the spots that are wrong in that big picture and then learning those little spots so that you can improve your big picture. Yes. So, like, like, learn, learn, like, like micro situations situations and, like, like, base your big big game off of, like, them them all together, together, I guess? guess. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Okay. I think that's a lot of what there is to it. Now, it is going to be important, you know, if you want to learn neutral, is that, like, 
you know, you have to be able to watch this game and tell me, uh, you know, I lose, I get hit a lot by running shine because that kind of shows that you lack an answer to running shine. And that's like where you need to direct your attention so you can improve your big picture. Yes. So like, how do I like find or like more like quickly figure out the, the, the answers to like these situations? Uh, are you in, uh, any Falcon discords, like the cookbook or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in, in like, like the, the, yeah, I'm in that, that one. That one's good. good. Yeah, uh, go in that discord and then search for running shine. It's probably there, right? Like, I can, like, you know, if you are a Marth player, I could probably tell you. Uh, but like, I'm not a Marth player, so, eh, <laughs> like, I can't really tell you. But, you know, the resources are there. There are bots. And there are... And there are, like, ideas. And then there's, like, uh, resources that help you figure... That help you figure out what you can do against that. Um, if you want to learn it on your own, which you totally don't have to, but it's a useful skill to have, uh, that's when you can start applying your big picture stuff. So, uh, you know... Earlier I said, Shine's drawback is it's small, so you can hit him for trying to shine you. Yeah. Um, that's like a very big picture statement. Obviously, you can't always hit Fox for trying, for trying to shine you, but it's like a pretty general rule that if Fox is trying to running shine you, then you can generally hit him before he can actually hit you. Yeah. So uh, that's whenever you take a... That's whenever, so that's a big picture idea. Uh, that's like understanding the drawbacks of Shine. So then you take, based off of the fact that uh, Shine is a small hitbox, then you say, okay, uh, my big picture idea against Ryan Shine is that I'm going to hit him first. Then, uh, you know, sometimes uh, he shines like when he's close to you and you're in like, you know, like you were trying to back air and then he shines stuff in your back air. So then that's the micro situation. And you have to adjust your big picture to say, well, hitting him first does beat uh, Shine, but whenever he, whenever he's like really close, then his Shine will beat my move. So I have to do something else. Yeah. yeah. So that's how you like. So uh, figuring out the answer to each situation that you recognize is like... Uh, based off of uh finding a place to start is based off of your big picture understanding and sometimes uh sometimes you're wrong you know sometimes i'm just like yeah i have this idea about running shine like i'm gonna dash back to avoid it and then you know it doesn't work great maybe and then you're just like and so then you have to say huh okay uh this isn't really working the answer must be something else and you can like, you know, you can experiment with that in your gameplay. Uh, just like, you know, you play more friends with Crow and you're like, I'm going to try to dash back grab his running shine. You keep get, And if you keep getting running shine, then, you know, that might not be the answer. Uh, does all this make sense so far? Yeah, 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 it, yeah does. it does. Okay. Yeah, it does. I okay. think another big thing is just like, like I'm not, not like... like Trying to force myself to pay attention, attention to what he's doing. doing. I'm, I'm trying to pay more attention, attention to like what I can do better than how to go directly against what he's doing, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking like, like, hey, I learned these things, things, I need to use them more. Uh -huh. Instead of like, he's putting me in a situation I can do exactly what to do to fix that. If that I don't know how to like describe it really, but like... No, that makes sense. Uh, so it sounds like you're right now, you're focusing a lot on your own execution. Is that right? execution but it's like, but it's like what, what i'm doing, doing instead of instead of, instead of like going against what he's doing mm -hmm. i'm trying to focus on just like playing better rather than countering what he's doing if that makes sense okay okay so you're just like trying you're just like focusing on playing well rather than like actually fighting your opponent or whatever not i mean that sounds yeah. harsher than what i mean but no uh, yeah yeah, yeah it makes sense. Sense. okay yeah okay that makes that makes a lot of sense uh, well, here's a question for you. Uh, when you're playing, what are you watching? I'm like, I like, I, like, I, 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 don't, I don't like, 
watched it specifically, I kind of just, like, I don't, I don't watch my character, his character, I, like, like move my eyes around the screen, or, like, don't, like, pay attention to anything, anything like, super, super in particular. particular. Uh-huh. Generally, so, generally, it should be said that you should be, most of the time, you should be watching your opponent's character, and, like, the space between your character and your opponent's character. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I know, know that. that. I'm just, I, I'm just, like, like I'm, I'm actually really, really bad, bad at is, like, like not paying attention to what my, the enemy's doing enough, enough. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty important, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely a skill that I would say if you can learn to build it up now, it will pay off big time later. Because, like, being able to pay attention and notice what your opponent's hitting you with will help you... Well, first, it will help you, like, figure out what you're getting hit with right now. And then, uh... Which will help you learn it faster. And then later, whenever you're playing, like, in tournament, it will help you recognize what they're going for earlier. And then you yeah. can, like, call them out on it. So... I would say the skill is like pretty important for you to start trying to pick up on now. Um, yeah. yeah. Nothing like. like sorry, 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 you go. You go no, ahead. no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm like, like, I know, I'm like, like I'm really bad at adapting, adapting unless, unless they're doing like very obvious, obvious bad, bad things, things like, like always hiding or, or always tacking in, in, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm usually, usually more, more of just like, like okay, okay tech, then I fall. Unless like he tacked left, what does that mean? So so he's he's up again, again. I mean, he's going to do it more. more. And then, then this situation, situation I need to repeat. repeat. It's more of a, like, like, I just see what they're doing, and in no thought, thought, I just I do what I, I, I do it with my, my hands, hands know how to counter, counter it, you know? Right. And that's how you want it to end up for, like, watching them. Because, like, if you watch them, uh, like, if you watch them, then you'll, like, learn how to adapt faster. Because... Or you'll be able to adapt more quickly because you'll learn like you'll fi you'll see like the visual cues for uh you'll see the visual cues for what they're about to do and you'll be able to do something. Yeah. So like let's take you know some of these running shines you know like he's like running pretty far pretty far at you with him running. So, usually you wouldn't see someone like Ariel from this far. Like, as soon as he's like, you saw how far across the stage he ran there? Yeah. So, uh, let's see. You know, he ran from here, and then he's all the way over here, and he shines. Once he gets to like right here, you can probably conclude that he's going to use running shine. But you have to be watching him in order to, say, in order to be able to say that. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why uh, you can start counting running shine as a threat there is because, like, now he's in run instead of dash. You know, he broke into a run. Yes. And then I can tell that you are actually, like, kind of watching him sometimes, like... But a lot of times, you're also not, you know? You have a lot of spots where it's like... You know, like, this spot, you know, you're pretty clearly watching him in the space between you. You're like, he's close to me and he could hit me. And you spot dodge. But a lot of the other times, you're just, like, kind of, like, lizard braining it. Yeah. yeah. What you need to do is, uh, in some friendlies, like, uh, is to try to, like, lizard brain a little bit less. And, uh, just, like, if you can f just really focus on, like, uh, what you're getting hit by. Because if you can start, I think the first step to everything is, like, being able to accurately say, like, why you are getting hit or why uh you are hitting them you know yeah. beyond like uh i hit him because he's bad you know mm -hmm. like easy example you know if you play someone who like who likes to down smash a lot right then you're just like uh and then like you you talked about that you're just like oh you know like they side b a lot then i notice eventually because like 
I see it a million times. Eventually, even the lizard brain is going to be like, oh, yeah. yeah, this guy, this guy's side B. Yeah. So I'm going to read side B. Uh, so it's the same. So essentially, this process is the same thing, except hopefully you won't have to like see it four or five times before you're like, oh, wait, this guy's just spamming this one thing. You can just like pick you can pick up on it after the first or second time and then try to like counter them for going for it. Mm -hmm. That's something like, that Graham does pretty well. What is what Graham? Wait, what is it? Oh, that, I was saying like, that's something that like Graham does pretty well where it's like, you know, if he sees, you know, like, for example, if he sees like a Fox player going for a running shine like one time, then like on the next interaction, uh, he's like ready to like try to hard counter running shine with like some sort of read to beat to beat it and there's like you know he's not always right there's downsides to it but you know he sees that kind of thing like pretty well and then he usually has an idea to try to beat it like pretty immediately mm -hmm. I, think, like, I used to like play my life intently or like in silence I need to like I need to pay, pay more, more attention to the game that, that I'm playing, playing, you know, and, like, like take it more, like, like take, like, friendlies. friendlies. I don't, I don't think, think take it more seriously, seriously but put, put more intent, intent behind, behind them, them, you know? Uh-huh, yeah. If you can use, like, if you can take, if you can play the friendlies to be a little more, like, uh... I, I guess, like, seriously would be the word, where it's just, like, you know, you're not, like, fucking sweating and, like... Uh, I'm mad if I don't win, obviously. Which, yeah. you know, you already know that. It's just like, uh, instead of just, like, fucking off and doing whatever, right? It would be better if you, like, took the friendlies as an opportunity to kind of, like, observe what's, uh, what are, what is your opponent doing. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's what I feel like. Maybe man like, more intent, intent rather, rather than just, just like, like being like, oh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll play, play, and the, and the more, more I play, play I don't get, get better by osmosis. osmosis. I'm, I'm just like, like I play to specific reasons to like, get better, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You want to do, like, you want to play, yeah, like you said, with more intent. Uh, I think the best word for it is, like, you want to play, like, a little more actively than yeah. perhaps you have been. Uh, you know, actively instead of just, like, chilling out and then just like having a good time or whatever because like i mean obviously i want you to have fun but like if i honestly think that if you just play melee for 24 7 on like autopilot then it doesn't that it actually makes you worse at the game yep, yep. so That's like yeah yeah and it's like it's hard to do that because like not the autopilot thing just playing on autopilot is, like, the easiest thing in the world. And then, like, you'll be like, oh, you know, I played for three hours a day, you know? I'm, like, I'm so productive. I practice so much. But it's like, uh, I mean, did you really practice, right? Like, you, you kind of just, like, fucked off and, and, like, learned nothing new for three hours and didn't try to implement anything new. Yeah. It's not very good, right? So yeah. what you want to do is you want to play, like, like you said, with more intent, more actively, uh, and just like if if even just like every time you play, like you fix one thing a day, or you identify one thing wrong with your gameplay, and then try to figure out an answer to it, just one thing per day, that will like over time like make you outstrip a lot of people. Because a lot of people just, like, you know, they go in unranked, and then uh, they just, like, play games, and then sometimes they win, and then sometimes they lose, and then uh, they never learn anything. But if you're always yeah. learning one thing new each day, then, like, after some days, you're going to be beating them. Mm -hmm. I think it's, like, I feel like it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like hard to, like, repeatedly implement things, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, just like, like I feel like, like all those things that keep adding in my gameplay. It's like, like I think it's just hard to remember all, all that, that yeah. like stuff. Cause, Cause like, remember like, remember like, like in the beginning of the summer, summer when I started playing melee, like, like 
uh, more, more seriously, seriously again. again. Yeah. I was like grinding for this game and shit, and I like noticed like that's a small improvement, you know. And then at this point, we're like. Some of it's, it's kind of, kind of like, like going away. I'm trying, trying to get back into more like, like at least grinding punish. That's right. I know how to grind. You know, I know how to like improve at punish. I know how. I know like the very. I know like the good Falcon punish scheme. At least like the very basics and how to like get consistency. You know, that's what I'm practicing right now. I feel like with neutral, it's like really hard because like I do Lord Thumb less than I used to because it's just like in friendly is when you practice neutral, right? Mm-hmm. And, and it's, it's like, like in friendlies, I'm just I'm not thinking, thinking as much as I am in, in hundred. I don't know how many times they punish back, but like, you know yeah, what I'm a lot of times, uh, if you play like friendlies for fun, then uh, you know, tournament is like tournament's more serious. So like, you're gonna you know be thinking more in tournament or like trying hard harder in tournament, right? Well, like, like uh. Like, like, I feel like it's hard, hard for me to like, remember, like and, remember and like consistently implement neutral game things than it is punish game things because practicing neutral game holds like a loose idea than practicing punish game, game, you know? Where I can like sit down and grind hitting these punishes that I know are good over and over, but for neutral game it's just like, if you find it, do it, and like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I mean, so yeah, I think like what we talked about today would be a good place to start where if you can just, uh, if you can sit down and then uh, figure out what, what is opening you up, like what gets you hit or what makes you lose neutral the most each game that you play, if you can do that for like, I don't know, like eight games a day. I think that's like an excellent place to start. Yeah. A lot of it is going to be like the simplest way to start is always to like do like do like this. Okay. So we're watching this vod. Okay. I got hit. Why? Why do you get hit? You go back. I didn't, I didn't like, like do the very beginning. beginning. All right, why'd you get hit? Uh, I missed my nair, so you would punish me. Yep. So you got punished. Okay, next one. Why'd you get hit? Um, I think I, think I, I hit, hit a first hit nair and went for the grab, grab but he spot dodge shined it. Okay, let's see that again. So you. Oh, I grabbed through, through him. I, I, I ran through him and grabbed. grabbed. Right, exactly. You whiffed your you whiffed your grab because you know you might have like missed your L cancel or something, and then he's. And then he just shined you. You know. Alright, why'd you get hit there? Uh, I thought, I thought he, he like, shot me for my attack, attack came out, or, or yeah, yeah, for my attack, attack came out. out. Yeah, and the situation leading up to that was that he, you did a wave dash back. So look at this, you did a wave dash back, and he read the wave dash back with shine. So he was on top of you, and he shined you before your attack could come out. Yeah. And so, like, this is, like, the easiest way to start. Is just every time that you get hit, uh, just like take a pause and be like, okay, why did I get hit? And a lot of times, you know, you're going to see probably the same things over and over again. Uh, and then you can figure out like where the holes in your neutral are and be like, hmm, you know, uh, I get hit a lot for just like, uh, dashing back and then trying to do an aerial and then he's already on top of me. And then yeah. that's when you can try to figure out, okay, how do I like not get, not, how do I not lose that, you know? So, you know, this is basically the same thing, right? Yeah, you're seeing that yeah. where you dashed back and then he read the dash back and you jumped. This is the exact same situation as you saw before, right? So you recognizing this is already improving at neutral. Now you just need to figure out what to do about it. So what would I do about, about it? Like, like Well, we talked about what beats running track, right? Yeah. yeah. Instead of dashing back and then trying to hit him when he's already on top of you, you would probably just try to hit him instead of dashing back. Yeah. yeah. 
So that would be one thing to try. Okay, why'd you get hit? Let's see it again. I I I, I, I would have stopped. Then I I, I might have missed the Elkis on that. I just expected him to come up and hit me, but he didn't. So. Yeah. So you whiffed the move, and then you got stomped. Or okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. All right. Why'd you get hit? The back air right here? Yeah. I dropped shield too early? Mm, I don't think that's the case. So look right here. Well, I mean, yes, you're right. But it's also like, he's going to try to hit you as a whiff punish, right? So you whiffed again, yeah. and he went for the whiff punish. Well, I expected him to, like, go forward and hit me right there. So I turned the knee, you know, as I can read, but... Uh-huh. That one I just, like, you know... Yeah, so if you can figure out all the spots where you thought wrong, mm -hmm. then you can start being like, huh, I think this thing wrong a whole lot. So there's like a hole in my neutrals around here. You know, uh, why'd you get hit here? I just read it wrong. Uh, or like, specifically. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Try to be specific. Why'd you get hit here? He jumped, he jumped over, over my nair and then drilled me. me. Yeah, so you, you full hop neared and then you whiffed and then he he drilled you. Alright, so why'd you get hit there? Blue watch. Oh, oh, he just, just neared me before my grab. Or he like jumped, jumped over, over my grab. grab. Or, or, I think I can get me from my grab came out. Yeah, so he crouch cancelled, he crouch cancelled oh! your back air. Yeah. And then you tried to grab him, but he was actionable and he already hit you. Okay, so why'd you get hit here? Can you go back again? What? Is it? It's going. Um. I think, I think I went for another grab, grab and then I tried to shield if he just shine me. Uh huh. Why'd you get hit there? I just fucked up my tech and I actually did an S smash. Right, and then he just whiff punished you. Yeah. Why'd you get hit there? Let me see. Oh, oh I did a. Um, Turn runner. Yep. Alright, uh, you got Phantom Hit, I'll tell you that, yeah. I'll say that one. <laughs> and then that time, you know, he, uh, baited out your get attack, and he shielded it, and he punched you out of shield. Mm -hmm. Alright, and that time you whiffed you Raptor Boost, right? And you don't need to do this for, like, literally every single hit, like we've done for this game. Because, like, let's face it, an average game of Melee, everybody gets hit a lot. True. But, you know, uh, you're seeing, we're kind of seeing some recurring themes here, right? So we'll just do this for the remaining time. Why'd you get hit? I got boosted any shield and then back me. Yeah, and then he tech chased you and then he killed you with down smash. So, I don't know, we're seeing a lot of recurring themes here, right? Like... Uh, out of the each of the times I asked why'd you get hit, a lot of them are from actually like, you know, you just kind of like whiff the move, and then uh, and then he read a dash back, and then he shined you afterwards. Yes. Yeah. So therefore, uh, that's where you like kind of uncovering like a weakness in neutral. You're like, hey, uh, I miss a lot of moves, and after I miss, I dash, I try to dash back a lot. So, like, what would you prefer, like, wait for me to start, start fixing that? Uh, 
this is going to sound kind of like an asinine response, but it would be helpful to hit your moose, right? Yeah. Like, if you hit your moose, then obviously, like, uh, you won't have to deal with being whip punished because, you know, you'll have hit them. So maybe you need to aim your moves a little better, you know? Like, uh, maybe you need to be, you need to look into why uh, aren't your moves connecting? Or like, instead of, or here's another simple one. If you always dash back after you do your move, after you miss your move, and then he always running shine punishes your dash back, then maybe you should do something after, something else after you miss a move. You know, after you miss a move. Maybe you should do another move. Uh, maybe you should roll or something, you know? Yeah. So those are all things that you can do uh, to uh, to remedy that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot, a lot of sense. sense. I, think I think I'm just like... like I think, I think I have, I have like, like, I think I'm, I'm just, just like feeling, feeling too hopeless, hopeless about neutral, so I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm going to die, die anyway. I just can't hit my moves, moves right? right? I think I that there's like solutions like I'm just like not looking for correctly. correctly. And whenever or I do look for solutions, they, they usually make me get better. better. That makes sense, you know? Yeah. I mean, when I first did it, sorry. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, I would encourage you not to be like depressed about it, you know? Like the way you said it just now makes it seem like. Oh, it's such a foregone conclusion. Like, why bother? Like, I'm going to die anyway. Like, there's o- like, there's pretty much always an answer. You just need a, you just need to find it. Yeah. Oh, well, I think it's less like hopeless, but more just like, I found it except just like better player. I'm going to hit more, but I think there's like solutions that I'm not like looking for. You know, I think there's like. Yeah, I think it's like I'm not like I'm not thinking that there's like. Such, Such easy solutions, solutions that I'm, like, like not even looking look for them, that makes sense, you know? For sure. And I do think that, like, it's harder to find those solutions against the better player, like you said. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, he knows the situations, uh, or most of them, like, better than you do. So, uh, you know, it's going to be hard for you to find answers to what he's doing on the fly because he knows the answers to your answers, you know? So on and so forth. But, you know, that's kind of why I suggest, why I always heavily emphasize, like, that it's important to practice against people who are worse than you as well. Mm -hmm. So if, you know, you can play people that, you know, uh, that are worse than you or, like, similar skill to you, then uh, you can, it's easier to figure out solutions because then, you know, if they always hit you for dashing back, then like sometimes you can do another move instead and then you punish them for trying to punish a dash back and you're like, oh, I got yeah. him, you know? Like, I feel like, I feel like that, that would be like practicing, practicing learning, learning neutral rather than practicing, practicing neutral itself. itself. Whereas like, you're, you're, you're kind of learning that they're like, like not a good, good option, option, but you're still like getting, getting better, better at recognizing options, options, you know? Yeah, for sure. I think that's very accurate. So like, yeah. I think a good plan, a plan for me would just be like play versus character like, like players, players like near to my skill level or worse than me and while you're doing and then it's like easier to think about those options and then i'll get better at doing that right yeah and then once you learn those new options then you can try to challenge yourself by trying to play against a stronger player and then you can see you know what are the new things you picked up that worked and what are the things that new things you picked up that like didn't work at all because some of it will work and some of it won't work. And, you know, that's how you kind of, like, uh, narrow down your options. A lot of the times the way it works is that you learn all the new things that you can do or you might be able to do against worse players. And then you play someone better and they show you the options, like, that you can't do. Because you try to do it and then they punish you for trying to do it. Yes. And then you just bounce back and forth forever. So I would encourage you now, and honestly forever to consistently practice with worse players because that's where you're going to be able to like practice implementing and figuring out most of your new things yes like playing against people who are worse than you is basically almost never wrong well, I feel well, like, like I feel like whenever I do that, that I'm kind of scared of getting like, like, like the adjust, adjust like, like negative, negative feedback, feedback loops in where it's like, like oh, oh I, I find this option that works against them, so it must be good. Mm-hmm. So they're like, not using it, it and, and I never really improve. And I'm like, 
that's, that's scared of that happening, happening, you know? Well, so I try to find better players to, like, learn better options. options. But then I'm, I'm like, but then those better options aren't even working, working versus them because I'm, like, I'm trying to start too high. high so, like, at the very ground, ground level. level. Uh, yeah, the way it, you usually work it is, like, you would, like, kind of... You would kind of, like, move up the chain, right? So, like, first off, I think the negative feedback loop thing isn't like super real i think it's only real if you let it be real so if you let yourself just be lazy and you f and fuck off against worse players then yes you can fall into bad habits because you know you're not playing actively and you're just like mindlessly like ah you know i do whatever gets me to punish and then that's mm -hmm. that but if you're playing actively then i don't i basically think it doesn't have to be that way because uh, because you're like paying attention and trying to do good things, basically. Instead yeah. of just like mindlessly autopiloting. And second, whenever you play against stronger players, like you'll receive reminder that the shitty things don't work. Yeah. And then, then like and like I you know, like the good options will like well, they're stronger players, so they'll still beat you sometimes for doing good options. But like uh, you know, it'll like work sometimes or like kind of work. And like that's you know, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. yeah. I would I advise you just don't don't sweat the quote unquote negative feedback loop uh too hard as long as you're like doing your best to like actively pay attention while you're playing, then it should be fine. Uh, yeah. A dust has a lot of like negative feedback loop stuff because, well, like because he lets himself have it, and yeah. uh, that's not like necessarily a slam on him. A lot of it is related to like the environments in which he plays melee. So, like for example, he played a lot of melee on stream, and whenever you play melee on stream, you essentially have to autopilot because you know you need to be paying attention to chat, not the game player. Yeah. yeah. So on and so like, forth. I feel like, like too scared, scared to pick up bad options, options that I'm like not, not even like focusing on the good one. Uh yeah, I mean I would say uh just give it a shot. <laughs> basically. I mean yeah, that's that's, that's very I'm, yeah, I'm, give I'm, it a I'm shot. Like, I think I'm you will find a helpful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. okay. So like, like the general, general like just like I guess like if you're done, yeah, just, just like, like end it off. The overall, overall main, main thing is to be like, like focus more on learning, learning micro situations, situations pay, pay more attention, attention to adapting, uh, have, have a good, good game, game plan, plan but like, like, like fix, fix the, the holes in it, it right? right? Yeah. And uh, practice more against, and practice actively against bad players. Okay. That's, That's like, like, a like a Google Doc forever. Yeah, just like play bad people and like, you know, like, especially with the bad players, like, you should play someone that you can, like, crush. You know, like, it, needs, it should be someone that, like... Like, literally, when I say players worse than you, I'm talking about, like, the skill gap between, like, Magi and me. Right? Like, the top, like, top, like, 30, 20 player in the world versus, like, some dude who, like, isn't ranked in his state. Like, that that level of difference i think is uh what is like similar to what you're aiming for like you want to play against someone that you can like that you could autopilot that right you want to play someone that you could autopilot and then regularly two and three stock but okay. you're going to not autopilot you're going to play actively and like try to not let them like get anything like stupid on you at all and then that will help you learn uh like new options that uh you can that'll help you iron out your existing options and as well as learn or experiment with new options that you might want to try and then you can bring that to opponents of your level and then seeing what still works So yeah, that's uh, I don't know, that's probably it for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's a, a good place, place to start, start out, out, I think. Or like, like to start, start out, out but like, like 
for me to start out, you know? Like, a good thing for me to, like, start getting going on learning neutral and all, and all that shit, you know? Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, peace. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Bye.